We're on day 11 and day 11 is, we're gonna fast from the thought that says, I feel depressed. Everybody goes through depression. I've experienced depression in my life, sometimes very deep, sometimes very, a little more shallow uh, form of depression. But, um, but the reason why we feel depression is because sometimes it's chemical. And again, fasting from wrong thinking does affect our brains in a positive way as well. But oftentimes in the, the average person's experience with depression is it's because of what we're thinking about. Our thoughts produce our feelings. Our thoughts create our emotions. Our emotions are fed by our thinking patterns or our mindsets. But um, now depression has become such a, it already was the leading disability in the world, the leading cause of disability. And now it's even more so. And now there's even, it, it's, it's, a, it's a worse problem in the world today with the pandemic of 2020 and into 2021. Um, depression has been a major uh, force in people's lives, a major negative force in people's lives. There's been more suicides than there have been in years past and there's more trauma and there's more discouragement. And so how do we overcome this? How do we confront this way of thinking? We have to realize that um, it is trying to disable us from faith and believing and trusting God. Depression is trying to drag us down, it's trying to defeat us, it's trying to get us to a place of despair because when you get to a place of despair, that's when you wanna quit and give up. So what do we do? Number one, stop condemning yourself. I want to encourage you that remember there's no condemnation for those that are in Christ. So no matter what you're feeling, no matter what you're experiencing right now, don't beat yourself up about it. Romans chapter 14 verse 22 says, "Happy is the one, happy is the man, the person who does not condemn himself." So think about that for a moment. Hap the Bible says that if you don't condemn yourself, you'll be happy. So we have to stop the condemnation. We have to stop berating ourselves. We have to stop uh, picking on ourselves, bullying ourselves in one sense is what we do. And because we feel, uh, we feel bad about ourselves, so we feel like we, we deserve the beating that we give ourselves. But you don't. Jesus already took the beating for you. So don't beat yourself up when Jesus took the beating for you and he doesn't condemn you, so stop condemning yourself. And happiness flows out of a condemnation-free mindset. Condemnation-free, like I'm not gonna be condemned another day in my life. I'm gonna do things that are wrong, I'm gonna make mistakes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow it at times, but I'm not gonna beat myself up about it because Jesus took the beating, he took the punishment, he took the, he took the condemnation for us. So you can stop condemning yourself. Another reason or another uh, way to, to fast from the thought that I feel depressed and to fast from this feeling and to fast from this thinking is to remember that God's still at, at work in you. Be patient with yourself. God's still working on you. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 1, verse 6, that um, he's going to finish what he started in your life. He's not just the author of your faith. He's the finisher. So he's still working on you. Lighten up on yourself. Um, he began a good work in you and he will finish it. Trust God that you're making progress. You might not be where you want to be in life right now, but you're, you're not where you used to be. You're way ahead of where you used to be. So be encouraged by that. Also tap into the power of believing. 1 Peter 1.8 says, though you do not see him, you believe in him and are filled with joy. By simply believing God's word, believing in what Jesus did for us, joy comes. And joy is the antidote. Happiness is the antidote for depression. Joy is the antidote for depression. Another thing you got to do or another thing you can do to uh, fast from wrong thinking, a solution here is to surround yourself with positive people. And that doesn't mean you got to be best friends with them. Just surround yourself with positive people. Sometimes that's just surround yourself with positive people on social media. Get rid of the negative ones. Like unfollow negative people and just surround yourself with positive people because positivity is contagious and it'll affect your emotions. When you're thinking positive thoughts, you'll feel positive feelings. 
And uh, remember that depression also comes from a sense of powerlessness. When you feel powerless over your present situation, you get depressed. And what gives us power? What, how do we overcome a sense of powerlessness? By remembering the power we have. What power do we have? God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. You got the power of the Holy Spirit. You got the power of God's word. You got the power of God's promises. You got the power of blood covenant. You got the power of God's love. This is what delivers you from depression, is realizing the power that you have. Now go finish the rest of day 11. Think it and speak it and watch your day get better and better, brighter and brighter. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. God bless.